be talking about how you can get started with building messaging templates for your WhatsApp channels. First, you navigate to the Create a Content section of the dashboard. From here, select Create a New Message Project, and then select the WhatsApp platform. Next, you need to decide whether you'll be responding to messages from your customers or if you'll be starting a new conversation. If you're going to just re be responding to messages from your customers, select Reply to Open Conversation. However, if you want to message your customers first, for example, for marketing, transactional or OTP use cases, select Create an Approved Template. Approved templates that start conversation will always cost more to send, so for service use cases, consider using unapproved templates as this can be more cost effective. Let's start by creating a template to reply to an open conversation. The first thing you need to do is select the type of message you want to send. So in this case, I'm gonna select text message. Give your project a useful name. So in this case, I'm gonna create a template to respond to a service conversation. And I will start from scratch. And finally, click Get Started Now. Once you're in the message builder, you can begin adding content. We already pre-populate an example with for you just so you can get started. What I want to do here is create a text template with a variable. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Project Settings, Variables, and add a new variable. And I'm going to call this variable Case ID. Then provide an example, which will be used to preview how this will look before you send this later. And then save the variable. Go back to the editor view and then drill into the body block. In this case, I want to say, thank you for contacting the support team, your case number is, and then I'm gonna add the variable I just created by clicking on the curly brackets and hitting case ID. And that's all you need to do. You can then preview how this template will look by hitting the preview button. And as you can see, this is loaded in the variable we used in our example earlier. This template is now ready to publish. So I'll go ahead and do that. Because there's no approval needed, this template is now ready to be sent on WhatsApp. Going back to the project creation flow, this time let's try and create a WhatsApp approved template. Firstly, we need to choose the WhatsApp business accounts this template will be associated with. Only phone numbers linked to the WhatsApp business accounts you select will be eligible to use the template. So in this case, I'm going to associate this template with this message bird demos WhatsApp business account. This will make it a legend to be used with all of these numbers here. Before giving our project a name, we need to select the type of content that we'll be sending, be this marketing, transactional, or OTP. And we'll follow up with the best practices in a follow-up video and when to select which category. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and create a marketing template for some promotional offers. You then need to select the type of message you want to send. So in this case, I'm going to send an image message uh, to create a rich promotional message and then give this a name as before. So my marketing template. You'll see that because you selected a marketing template with an image, the sample template has already been pre-populated with some useful information to get you started. So in this case, you can see a sale image, a body describing exactly what's going on, and then also an unsubscribe footer as well, so customers know how they can actually get out of your promotional messaging. With this template, you can also add additional action buttons, either a link button or up to three reply buttons. So let's go ahead and try and add a link button. Firstly, give the button a label, my website. And in this case, I'm gonna link people back to the message bird website.
And you can now see this on the preview view as well. If I click preview, you can see how this will look when it's sent to WhatsApp. Let's go ahead and publish this. Because this is an approved template, this can take a couple of hours to approve by Meta. And depending on the content that you provide, the longer this may take to happen. So definitely with images, this can certainly be a slightly longer process than if you just provided a basic text message. And we'll cover more details around the WhatsApp approval flow in a follow-up video.